trying a half square antenna, 20 metres DXing around 9.30 a.m. local time. One pole worked well, but maybe two will be twice as good. Vertically polarised two element Yagis, mocks and rectangles, or half squares are just some of the types of antennas you can easily build with two vertical support poles. Vertical Yagis and mocks and rectangles are unidirectional, whereas the half square is bidirectional. Height is another consideration, especially if your pole is only 8 or 9 metres long. A two element Yagi for 20 metres requires more than 10 metres of height. A moxon rectangle is a little bit more compact, requiring maybe 7 or 8 metres. Whereas a half square requires less, only a quarter wave or a bit over 5 metres. That opens up the possibility of using it for lower bands like 30 or even 40 metres. Today though, I'll try a half square for 20 metres. The two poles are going to be like that. The water is in that direction, as is long path to the USA. It's bi-directional, with the main lobes being away from and towards the camera. Since I made yesterday's video, I added a point to make it easier to push the stake into the sand. I've also added a distance scale, so you can see how far deep you've put it in. And it could also be handy for measuring up wire antennas in the field. Before I put up the antenna, I'm going to do some resistance measurements. I'll test the resistance between the two stakes at various locations along the sand towards the water. Here the sand is fairly dry on top. I'm getting around 90k. Moving towards the water, now around 5k. Even though it's damp on top, it must be drier or less salty underneath because it's now back up to 50k. Now it's around 3 to 5k. A lot of designs for half squares are fed at the top corner. That's fine for low impedance coax cable, but I found it more convenient to feed at the bottom. That's high impedance, so you will need an antenna coupler. I'm using the thinnest possible insulated hookup wire. That lessens sag. Number one, number one, number one, this is antenna number one. 
And this is antenna number two, number two. This is antenna number two, number two. And number one, number one, number one. Any difference between them, Peter, over? Antenna one, about three dB stronger, over. Yeah, okay, Peter, very good. Thank you very much for the check there. And uh, two, uh, two uh, Yegis, uh, one at uh, 120 feet and uh, one at 50 feet. So that's the, uh, that's the test, over. Okay, you're uh, five, three on one watt, 53, five and three on one watt, over, over. Roger, Peter, VK3YE, this is VK4, Golf at Charlie, Quebec. The name here is John, Julie Oscar Hotel November, uh, Peter, the QTH is a Gold Coast City. Uh, re receiving you at 5555 on the QRP on the 5 watts. Received you 4242 on the 1 watt uh, Peter QSL. One thing I've found is an ordinary towel doesn't provide much dampness protection if you're sitting on wet sand. So in future, I should probably take a tarpaulin or rubber mat instead. The half square on 20 metres also operates as an in-fed half wave on 40 metres, making it useful on that band also. It's later in the day, the tides are coming in, so I think it's time to pack up, go home and grab some lunch.